Uh, good morning. Friday, uh, July 21st, 2023. It's going to be a beautiful day in the garden. So far, it's cloudy, it's mostly cloudy. It's not too terribly hot, so I'm going to try to get a little work done in the garden. First thing I'm going to do is go through here and pick some of these tomatoes. That one looks good. It's hadn't started splitting. We got very much rain one night this week. And unfortunately, I'd watered the garden the day before. So a few of them split a little bit. Let's see what's out here. Lots of little ones. Lots of little red ones, too. Got like the mother load on this one. It's probably 10 right there. Quite a few of these Juliet tomatoes are ripe. Let me pick one so you can see what the size. Here's what they look like. Got some early girls that need to be picked. Let's see. There's another one around there. A couple more up there. So one there. They're kind of everywhere. And these uh, more cherry tomatoes. These are called sun peach. There's the only tomato that I grow uh, by seed. They're very pretty. Real sweet and tasty too. And some more cherry to, uh, tomatoes up here. And um, these are called cherry bombs. My friend Tina gave me four of these plants. That's one of the last German Johnsons. These uh, evidently are determinate plants and they've uh, given up their fruit and died back. This one's over here on row two. That's a mountain fresh plus tomato. That's a determinant tomato, so you can see it's not too tall. It's as tall as it's going to get. And these beauties here are our Parks Whopper tomato. That's one becoming one of my favorites. There's another one there. They're very large tomatoes, and they almost never have any uh, problems. They're just a very consistent size, and they don't split or rip or nothing. These are Marglobes here. And uh, they got tomatoes ripe everywhere, but again, you can see they're pretty short and they're not going to get any taller. They are on uh, determinate tomatoes, so they don't continue to grow. They, most of them get ripe at the same time and the, then they're done for the season. Or you'd think that thing could focus. I guess not. There we go. We achieved focus. Okay, that's kind of the tomatoes that are hanging out on row number one and two. Let me go over here real quick and see what's on row number three. I picked that one pretty hard yesterday. Uh, there's the early girl tomato there. Over here on row three. And there's another one down there. I think I'll leave them on the vine in case somebody stops by and wants a tomato, wants to pick a tomato. I always like to leave a couple out here. There's a beef master down there you can see it's a little crinkly on top but other than that it's a pretty uh yeah. nice large tomato all right i'm getting ready to pick the uh biggest tomato for the year so far you can see it's as big as my hand and it's called a uh, super steak well that's definitely a nice one See, there's a four pack, and there are the clippers. Well, I've got another bucket full. That's unusual, even for Hall Street, for somebody to drop a, tra a tractor trailer in the road. It's definitely very unusual. I don't know if I've ever seen that before anywhere. Well, good morning. Um, you know, it happens. I pulled a tomato off the vine and the stem was stuck and ripped the tomato open. But not to worry, the chickens are on the other side of the fence waiting for it. So, uh, but anyway, a lot of these big old tomatoes are like two tomatoes welded together and they will split like that. <clears throat> but um, instead of, you know, cutting them here uh, and slicing them, 
what I found with those big old double tomatoes, and this one's not really a double tomato, but it would work the same way. If you cut it right uh, down the middle like that, and then slice it this way, you'll do much better with slicing it up for your sandwich or whatever. Let's see if I, oh. Old 30 year Ginzu knife still works pretty good. But uh, there you go, uh, slice it top to bottom instead of uh, side to side and you can get really good slices off of it. One of the tomato, uh, the chickens are gonna love this. Bumblebee just flew by. He wants a piece of the action, too. All right, let me go see if I can find the chickens and make them happy, happy.